Watson played a podge and that was one of the better podge performances I've seen in, in quite some time. So now let's see how comfortable Tomato is going to be. And of course, OG have some, a lot of comfort. I, actually, the meta is becoming a... It's not boring. It's not too stale, but you kind of see the same carries being picked 24-7. Like I'm done with uh, Sven Morfling, Luna, Lifestealer, literally. And the Void, sorry. Faceless Void, of course. Oh, oh <laughs> not worth it. Oh, wait, is it? You, you still have to kill him, boys. He's got the movement speed advantage. He's got no huge way. movement speed, but no TP on him. All right, they're gonna, they're gonna cut him off, right? Blood grenade, hook back up. First blood from somewhere else. <laughs> oh, no. They get the first blood. Have some hook. You have some glimpse. Anything can happen very quickly. Schofield. Mm, I don't think they win this with only level two iron shell. Um, Tomato seems like that's going to be the case. He's got a pretty big one to be able to play with. It's not going to be enough health back. He'll still die in the end, but Seb might get the trade. Only level one in glimpse. He's going to need that he extra little bit of damage yeah. from the creeps, and yeah, he should be able to get it. So Seb's going to be loving life with all the experience. Oh my ah. god, not enough. 20 health. He hit, just hit his six. Schofield. Okay. Is under attack. I mean, R is still around. And Tomato with the six ready to go. Vacuum's going to be able to cancel it. Schofield should still die nonetheless. And also on the other side of the map, BZM finds a solo kill. BZM's also finding a lot of fun with the ancient stack. That'll be Dragon Lens completed. You have Darkseid top net worth though with the mech and they're ready to come. K1 through the portal. Hook's there, but uh, Tomato, he's going to be killed off as well. So, Heroic looking to play around with their strongest hero in the game. And All right, we're back. Never mind. Bye, Tomato. Huh? Yeah, that's rotation though. Heroic going to be able to strike back after some of the momentum that OG been building. Tower's going to go down as well. Got the BKB or anything like that. Do I like it too much? I, I'm not sure what to make of it. Dalai Lama. Nice snowball. Well done, Schofield. Whisper's hunting, though. On the prowl, moving on forward. They are starting to rotate, though, on Heroic. It's going to be Analog that's pivoting to the north. Radiant and Mirror in this as well. BZM wanting to follow his fellow mid laner. Mm, Heroic are very again. shortly going to realize they don't have the numbers. Schofield Snowball is back up if he needs to dodge the glimpse. They want to turn to Analog instead. Yeah, Static Storm with the tick damage. It looks like he's in some danger. KJ's going to be able to repair him. Vacuum's out and now with the turn. It's looking great for Heroic. The combo from Run. the Vailama. The sustain as well. They just bait OG into a bad fight. It's not all doom and gloom for him, but definitely a problem that you have to worry about. KJ. Look at the kill on KJ, but top lane really another important kill. And Whisper. <sighs> wow. Mm, died much faster than I was really expecting. Yeah, that right clicking carry. They might get her. Tomato has a blink. There's Static Storm, there's Blink. And doesn't have the Aegis as well. Or oh, maybe KJ, no oh, way. Is KJ actually going to be able to keep him alive? If he oh, cancels he the live drain or something, and um, now Disruptor. I'm killed off. Tomato splits off to the north, but Divide Llama, I mean, meanwhile, actually, Ari as well, attempting TP. to TP out, but they're going to have the Yules from Analog. So Ari will not be dog. able to escape. But yes, importantly, Tomato does make it away. So you, are, of course, are happy with that exchange. Hmm. He might go on Analog as well. Like he has Aegis here. Let's go Yule Scepter on Analog to try and stall this out. He's got some boys coming as well. Not going to use on the first life. Are you ready for the respawn? Whisper's going to be able to jump over the top. I mean, we see how much burst potential they have with a snowball. Where's it going? Great placement. Vision that creeps Ooh, in a whisper. Oh, and he got BKB, but far too late. An aggressive tip from Divide Llama. You're going to win the team fight, though, if you're going to tip like that. And, well, maybe with Less Track charging in, they should be able to. That's but the Shark nice K1 shackle. lands onto the tree. Split Earth as well. Heroic find a second. And, uh, they do see Timado as well. And look at them. They're just running at him from the other side. He doesn't have a 
doesn't have... They're tipping to the outpost. It's just one. I mean, it's only Seb. Uh, has anyone else got TPs? Not really. Tomato's gonna die after the flesh sheep and... Now, Seb reveals himself as well. Now we'll see um, how much this 2k advantage means for Heroic, because it's really not a lot. The illusion. Hey, one smoke's gonna pot, they should know. And they guess correctly as well with the telekinesis. Snowball Snowball. keeps him alive momentarily. Static Storm on the retreat as well, but the BKB, that's K1's that's gonna be able to respond, but eyes on Dubai Lama, cause he's huge! Wall drags them all back, and now the utility has arrived, and OG need to get out. They stole the wall. Let's see what Ari's gonna be able to do with this now, but it's only on to Analog, it's not the greatest. BZM still in trouble, K1's gonna poke him down from afar. The Vi Lama again, this Darkseer from him this game. What a performance. Plan is to try and outplay them somehow. Kite out the BKBs, but maybe a hook under the tier threes. Maybe that's a game plan. Look at this. Wow, this is a very interesting play from Hori. Well, no one really popped out too far though from OG. Any hooks? Why Lama's a bit deep? Lana's gonna protect himself so with the BKB, so no cancel of the dismember. Kinetic fields are frustrating for Dubai Lama as well. This could be that opportunity they've been waiting for. Whisper though. Gonna be able to protect himself with the BKB. Now BZM's gonna jump over the top as well. They need more and they'll get it. Damage from BZM is huge. A secondary kill. K1 and the TP out. He oh, won't escape. Tomato's there. You got him. Alright, OG. Little bit of high ground magic from themselves. Heroic. Stick around for a little bit too long. Play a fine line and OG punish them. Three big kills in this net worth lead. They will be forced. Dude, what the hell is with these couriers? This looks like Sky over Europe. Like. Oh, Hex. Just completed. Tomato is going to get jumped straight away, but he's not going to mess around with the BKP. The wall from Divine Llama is not that good, but BZM. He's getting hunted. You wanted the Wind Ranger to try and find the Templar Assassin, but the shards actually works in their favor. BZM escapes. And now Heroic. I mean, fighting on multiple fronts. They're going to be able to run into Ari, but... I mean, OG do not care at all. You get a buyback out of Divine Llama. He won't show. It, it just feels like it's a much better position for OG. Just because they have all this room to play with, good vision, traps, even with the smoke. And he got him. And look this time, instant scope field cancel. And now the double shackle as well, but the static storm's gonna be there. They need to deal with KJ. Life Drain's gonna be able to keep the last track alive for the moment. BZM's not continuing to hit it to Analog, so he's okay. And meanwhile, K1 is just pummeling into Whisper. The Tibu's gonna go down solely to the focus fire. And over to the left side, Tomato. He's by his lonesome self. He's got no OG members to play with. Very nicely done. Like, it's an amazing team fight from Heroic. Seb's a big pick off. K1 recognizes that with the BKB getting activated, but. Detection. Now Glimpse back. Oh, refreshed for it. Maybe uh, concerned about some potential buybacks, even though with the, the cooldown or the time is being low. I mean, maybe even the DD from BZM would have been enough as well. So, Shard does get expended, but full set of barracks are going to be claimed. These kind of plays are probably necessary for Heroic right now. They need to find ways to, to take advantage of this. Hell of an aggressive piece. jump. They're even going to buy back on Schofield, but he's going to be very far away from connecting to the team fight. K1 forced to sidestep the aggression out of Whisper. It still looks... It doesn't look easy for Roik in this current location. There's still a 4v5. Shoot. K1. It's okay. Schofield, aggressive jump. They got eyes on Seb. They can take the Static Storm out of the equation, that's going to be used, and Dubai Lama finds a big wall as well! Oh, here. On to three, but Templar Assassin has arrived! She's going to try and showcase her damage, but it's just not enough, they stand strong against it all! BZM should be able to escape under the cover of the BKB TP. 
Can Ari as well as Whisper get away? It looks like Whisper's gonna be held short. K1 catches up with the Gleipnir. At least Whisper will be playing with a buyback. Maybe I'll get him, right? Four stars, telekinesis. Oh, they don't get him with the high ground. He's still got chain. And he gets out. Well done. What, Raider actually starting to come down bottom because they saw a couple people make the attempt onto Whisper, so they're disconnected. K1 is Definitely not currently fire. with the boys. And now he's going to go into the portal and instantly drop into the static storm. Buyback. They're going to get a buyback on an analog, and this is a heavy investment. Still taking a fight without Tomato, who is about to respawn shortly, so it's up to Whisper to get the damage output. You've got the outpost for Raining. That's the big advantage to be able to TP back in. Where is he? Oh, to the he's north, dead. he's gone. Okay. Zeppelin's into Schofield. Seven. He's got force, <gasps> he's got force. Oh boy. Any hook? It's a Tomato! They're gonna be able to find Analog on the low ground. Ari will be able to keep his Templar Assassin alive, but Tomato is in. K1 as well, K1. finds an ankle for the Shackle nice onto two. What's the call though? Who, who does he want to try and target down with the focus fire? Refresh is going to be used as well, but the BKB wants to get before the static storm. K1 wants to go towards Seb. He's going to be rewarded with a kill on two, the Disruptor. But now they are deep inside OG's Mando. base. But meanwhile, Analog almost out of mana. Tomato's going to be able to get the dismember off. Is someone else there for the damage? Whisper tries to jump in. Analog's okay. Heroic, oh, they need to reevaluate this fight. It's looking scary. Any glimpse? The big glimpses couple very shortly. Schofield. A slight jump from KJ. Pugna. Tomato, another aggressive jump in. Schofield, he's down. KJ as well is going to join him. Divai Lama charging into the middle. They got dismember though. The One at the gem at the cost of his life. Three down. No hold versus Megas. Well, not Megas yet, right? Like They, they still have the melee barracks. Uh, they just have to kill off these carties. Uh, it will be fine. Yeah, he's doing some heavy lifting with his uh, life drain. Healing the Schofield, healing Analog. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. See what Schofield and KJ are going to be able to do. Did he replace something? Did he have Daedalus before on TA? Or he replaced it. I'm not even sure. It doesn't matter. Uh, inside the base? Uh, Seb is already Rax setting is. up onto the, uh, onto the Wind Ranger. So they've TP back for this. Tomato's got a BKB to escape. No way, K1. Is he actually going to be able to get the barracks before the kill? Oh, he's getting it. Oh, he got it. Are you serious? And now Tomato. He has no buyback. He needs 50 gold. He has no buyback. Okay, they cancel Tomato's TP as well. Well, he's going to try and play with the, the dismember, but it will not matter. He doesn't have buyback as well. I know. Really uh, acting strong on the front line. Muscofield pulled back no quite right, so this is going to be a dieback. Meanwhile, BZM refraction burnt out to the low ground, but K1 with a giant shrink can chase him. And BZM's got no buyback too. Where is your damage now without the Templar Assassin? OG split on two fronts. Ari to the right. He's getting surrounded. They're on Whisper as well. Seb as well with the back lines getting chased down. Where are the Pirate Hats? Buyback Pirate Hat. Oh, <laughs> 30 gold he needs for buyback. Someone. The Vai Lama's going to be in though. Seb. All the chaos. It's making it difficult for them to be able to use these items. There we go. He got it. He's got buyback. And he's going to use it. What's the response now from Oro? Tomato. Fine to jump in down to the south. There's a big kill. Tusk on. That's a dieback for them as well. But got to keep eyes on throne. Okay, one focus fight upset instead of trying to go for the objective. He wants to kill us instead of ending the game. And that's going to be the cost of his life. And now Analog as well inside the base. He's got an Aegis, but it's not going to matter. OG. They will stand strong once again. Another day. They'll survive. They should be able to get Analog on the respawn and Heroic trying to get out with all their remaining members. They get Dubai? He's chasing, he's chasing. Link and Surge, like, this Rubik is... His cooldowns are lower, of He's course. gonna get him! Ooh, get Ooh what's going on? Who's got, Wait, who's got who? 
<laughs> who's got who? They're coming though. That's uh, yeah, I, very. I forgot what was happening at the beginning of the fight already. Yeah, no, I'm. This is this is news <laughs> to me. I'm trying to remember. I didn't. I didn't even remember seeing that hook save. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this is a big one. K1. Or is it teeping in? Too. Rainbow teep is out. K1's gonna be okay though. BKB is gonna excite shortly. They're gonna Oop. be able to get the glimpse beforehand. Oh, he sent back. Abyssal played out as well. Whisper's gonna hold him down with the snowball. Oh, no way, not again, not again. Okay, this time they're gonna have a response as soon as the snowball spies. Now Schofield as well is in some danger. I mean, what the white llama almost dies to one right click. They're thrown. They're thrown. They don't have a team, maybe yes. Back. Someone needs to keep tabs on the throne. Seb's gonna tip it back to base. Analog's gonna be in as well. Are they going to be able to make it out on OG? Looks like Tomato will escape. Everyone is out. You get a huge buyback out of the Wind Ranger as well. This Observe Ward's counting K1's huge. They're going to catch K1. It's a dieback. He just pulled back. back. Oh my OG. Okay, Lash needs to. Let's, Lash needs to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like instant ping down bottom. Like he needs to make something happen. It's back base Actually, though. He doesn't TP. Okay. So, Gizm can easily clear with the side waves and then look to rejoin the Psionic Projection. He's working on Rapier as well, and he's going to get there pretty fast, but they want to end the game before that Rapier is required. Let's see what the Raid Boss can do on Analog. By Llama as well. Ah, uh, you've got to have this even. Like you, you have megas, right? Like you can you can just wait it all out. Just wait for your TA. For your windrunner, sorry. Oh, they're gonna fight. Oh, back and wall. They didn't want to give them that opportunity to be able to get the mega. Static storm is there before the BKB. But importantly, KJ is on the outskirts. Tomato's gonna look to try and enter and play with the dismember. KJ, there we go. There's the life train. Analog's fine. Tomato wants to try and run oh, past it and deal with the pug. Now, Hook's going to be there then with the Aeon disactivated. And it looks fine in the middle of the team fight. And this is just valuable seconds getting wasted, ticking down the death timer of the Wind Ranger. This is dangerous for OG even. These have no buyback. Has to be very careful. Should be Megas though. Should be Megas here even against... Oh, man. Still oh, my Llama. It. An aggressive jump in, but there's no follow-up. And now they've got the damage onto Analog as well. Once BZM's able to lock onto his target, Analog protected. KJ's gonna keep him alive. 10 seconds into the Wind Ranger. Have they got the damage to be able to kill Analog beforehand? Static Storm once again with a hook. That's great, Tomato! Gets the Medic on the back line. Now Goodbye BZM back. is just having a free fight. This Templar Assassin. You gotta run. Ripping them apart. Can they get out such a heavy investment on Heroic? Whisper cuts down one. But K1 BZM is back to the sleeping. world of the living. BZM, oh, no way it gets out. I don't know if you noticed, but in this fight, like Pudge, of course you did. He's in, in the middle of it all and everyone is ignoring him from Heroic. Like they know they can't kill him. So they're just absolutely ignoring him, trying to <laughs> trying to kind of go behind him to defend the Rexes. You know what, like, this is a 70 minute game right now, but they have the ultimate scaling on Timado. He's going in, 6.3k HP, it doesn't hold oh, the whole We got him. Oh, we got him! Tomato! <laughs> he was in vision, like... Now the assault continues. Such a fine line needs to be played. OG, they've had incredible defenses. Heroic, can they have their own? Nice stun from Analog. On to three. Sets up for the drag back. Vacuum wall is pretty goddamn good. Can they capitalize, though? BZM with the telekinesis is going to get himself down to the low ground. BZM's going to be cautious, though. K1's yeah. going to be able to try and find him on the back line, but he just turns! Go? BZM! Red crits raining in. Now on to Analog as well. 
Life Drain's gonna be there. Will it matter in the end? Snowball over to the right side, but PZM will continue to hunt, continue to chase. There is one opportunity left, and this is th the fight right now for them to win it all, and BZM, an instant buyback, projection in, and OG have done it. 72 minutes, a game one thriller for our second series. 72 minutes, 81 kills. <sighs> Feels good, man. Oh, this is probably one of the best games that I've seen in Elite League.